I am a big fan of chokers. I wear them sometimes with my outfits. If you're a teenager and you're starting to wear some jewelry, maybe your parent might not be thrilled about it. But if you DIY your own choker and you can learn something from it, they might be okay with that. So today, I'm going to teach you how to make your own choker by using a program called OpenSCAD. So first, I'm going to do some measurements. I'm going to uh, measure my neck. Uh, it's about 32 uh, centimeters, so that's uh, 320 millimeters. And I'm going to write it down on my notebook. And in order to get the diameter, we are going to divide it by pi. And pi is 3.14. So um, let's make it uh, one, 102 millimeters. And uh, as you can see, my original choker, uh, I used buckle, but let's make it simple. Let's stay simple and uh, we will use magnet this time. And I'm going to measure the magnets for my choker. Diameter, let's make it uh, four millimeters. It's about, yeah, it's about four millimeters. So, magnet, diameter, four millimeters. The height is about uh, 15 millimeters. Let's uh, make it a bit longer. Let's say um, seven millimeters. So that makes our choker around uh, 20 millimeters. And let's also measure the width of my original choker. Let's see the thickness. It's uh, around two millimeters. So I think that's about right. Two millimeters. Uh, so now we have our measurement. We can start um, making it in open scan. We are going to do a little bit of coding. I know it can be intimidating because most people think it's all about math. But for a language major like me, it's just talking to the computer with uh, good grammar and punctuation. Like telling the computer to give me a big cylinder and then take a small cylinder out of it. So don't worry too much about it. I think you can do this. First, we are going to create our primitives. Primitives are like building blocks. There is cube, cylinder, and ball, and of course, there are other shapes. They are the elements we use to create models in OpenScan. First, I'm going to uh, put in the cylinder uh, that represent my neck. And then I'm going to put in the outer diameter of the choker. So 
cylinder high 20 diameter 102 102 and you always want to uh, make uh, put it in the center for so center true and the uh, outside outer diameter cylinder high same high 20 and then uh, maybe a little bit uh, bigger than the inner diameter so it will be 100 let's put it 106 also center equal true okay and then let's render it and see pretty good look now we have a two cylinder and I'm going to make uh, two more cylinders in the front uh, for the magnet The other one is identical, so you can just copy and paste this this one. And now let's see. Um, you can't see anything because it uh, they are all in the center. So I'm going to put the dash in front of the two cylinder we made before and then you can see it when you put it here they will um, when you put a dash in front of the cylinder basically you are just um, basically it's like you are hiding the coal but uh, it still exists so when you move it and render it will show up again and <coughs> and then we are going to um, make uh, some space in the front, like cut the cut uh, cut through a space in the front. So I'm going to use uh, the shape cube to do it. Let's make it. Um, So this is our cue for um, cutting the cylinder for making uh, spaces uh, in the front so that it can hold my choker so that for, for my uh, choker to connect together to connect my choker yeah. So as you can see in uh, our open sketch, you can see there. Um, wait, where's my? Um, oh yeah, right. So sometimes it overlaps. So I'm going to change the height of my um, inner diameter. I will change it to 21 so that you can see. So now you can see we have a uh, two cylinder and uh, one cube in the center. And basically, these are all our primitives. And now we're just going to um, uh, move their position to. Uh, and now we're just going to uh, move it to the right position. And um, for the cube, we are going to translate it. We are going to uh, use. When we are going to move it through x, y, z direction, we are going to use the function translate. Translate for the cube. Yeah, we 
remember you have to put the um, prime penetration. And let's move the magnet in the front also. So still translate. Mm, let's maybe also, also 52. Let's see. Then two, maybe two, two. And also here, same thing. See what happened. So now we have um, two cylinder on each side, but uh, you can't really see it. So we need to move it a little bit uh, further. I maybe I will change this to. Change it to 53.8. Let's see. That's about right. And uh, that's a little bit um, too close to the cube, so I will change it to. like this like this now you can see there are two cylinder in the front uh, I'm leaving a space here because I think I'm going to uh, make another cylinder in the front so that it can hold my magnet so there will be one more cylinder actually hi 20 and diameter is also 20 because um, I only use it to hold up my magnet so also 20 and center uh, it's in the center so let's move it to, to the front also Maybe um, point two, point two. Let's see. Okay, like a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I think I'm going to just uh, scale it a little bit to smoosh it together to make it look nicer when it came out. So I'm going to use the scale function. Scale. Maybe uh, half. And uh, Y and C stay the same. Yeah, it looks pretty good, just like that. And um, now when uh, everything is set, but of course we need to subtract the. Uh, we need to take out the small cylinder of the bigger one. So now I'm just going to. Uh, uh, add everything up so I'm going to use the function called union and then render and now everything uh, is put together uh, but we also need to as I say I need to put the small cylinder out of the bigger one so the subtract function will be different. It's very, very important for you to put the um, uh, primitives uh, to the right uh, in the right order because uh, it it will uh, it has a big effect on the outcome. So you will have to know where to put it.
definitely not here. Oh, right, I changed the um, I changed the number wrong, so I'm going back. So here we go, this is our final result. And, uh, but as you can see, inside um, the ring, no, inside our choker is still not really smooth. So normally what I would do is to just to add to a function to make it look smoother. So this looks much better now. See? Inside it looks much better now. And um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I hope you make one for yourself very soon. Let's try it on and see uh, how it came out. Oh, it fits right. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more tutorial like this, let me know and I will make more.